We talk carpet. about the red carpet? Yes, I think we should because I feel like that's the most important. It was filled uh, with gorgeous looks from all of our favorite celebrities. So here to recap some of the best styles is custom dress designer Olivia Humphreys. Nice to have you back here. Hey, Olivia. Hi. It's nice to be back. Absolutely. We're, we're happy to have you here. So, so what was the big trend that you saw last night on the red carpet at the A Oscars? A couple of big trends. Um, beading was like beautifully on display, like beautiful sequins, just Glenn Close's gown had like bugle beads that weighed like 42 pounds. Mm. Oh my! That's a workout. That's heavy. <laughs> yeah. Now how, how about Amelia Clark? Let's start with her. She's yes. just stunning to begin with. She's yeah, beautiful. she is gorgeous. So this dress, I think this is like hot fix Swarovski crystals all over the gown. Mm. So that would shine like a diamond. All right. <laughs> That's Glenn Oh, she's Close. wearing a cape, it seems like, yes. though. Yeah, there was a couple of capes as well. Melissa McCarthy wore one of those, too. Brie Larson had a fully sequined dress and that, that neckline. Those are interesting um, uh, shoulders. Yeah, and really Emma sculpted there. shoulders. I love that. And How that about was fully sequined. She, she took my, that was my favorite of the night. She, she's winning every award show lately, like on the <laughs> She red looks carpet. so she's good, beautiful. though, for, I think she's 50, right, she yeah. said? Almost, yeah. She, she's like fine wine. She's just Better beautiful. with age. Yeah, yeah. All right, and, and then we also have some other uh, gowns. Pink, there was a... Uh, um, yes, this hot pink trend yeah. with a few different shades. Um, I, I just love that color, and it was great to see it in full flow on the red carpet. That's beautiful right there. Very nice. Did you have a favorite? Um, I like all of these pink ones, plus mm -hmm. Helen Mirren. Did you see her gown? This beautiful, tall, it right pleated there. dress. Oh, it's different shades of pink. Yeah, so as she moved, you could see oh. like a red and a raspberry and like an apricot underneath. Check that she out. looks stunning. That was custom. Chipperelli. Now also we have Regina King here up next, I believe. Let's, let's take a peek at what she was wearing. Yeah, I wanted to talk about her gown and just the hours and the skill that takes to create those drapes in mm -hmm. her dress. Now, have you ever made a tuxedo dress? Is this a first on the I red carpet? I have not. He looks amazing. <laughs> <laughs> we actually saw a couple of those in Hartford yeah. last night. Last night, really? the, yeah. yeah. One, one gentleman had a cummerbund that turned into a dress. Wow. Which similar. Is, it yes. was kind of similar to that look. Yeah. I don't know if he knew what was coming, but white is a bold move to wear on the red carpet, yeah. I feel like. Yeah, but it's such a classic as well. And she looked terrific getting her award. Beautiful. Now, now, how about Jason Momoa? He's like one of the most manly man, handsome dudes wow. in the world. Our, yeah. our producer Joyce is saying yes, yes. <laughs> and here he is, and he's got a scrunchie on his. Yeah, on his, Fendi uh, oh, did wow. him a matching scrunchie to wow. go with his suit, and this was a tribute to the late Karl Lagerfeld, who passed away last week. Oh. Are scrunchies coming back? Or Why was that not? just a Fendi <laughs> accoutrement there? I think Jason Momoa can carry anything off Connie. That's true, right? He can do whatever he wants. Maybe I could rock the pink scrunchie. No? Uh, yeah. I don't know. You don't have that hair. <laughs> exactly. Right. Well, that's true. Like that. What did you think about Lady Gaga? She had two different black dresses on yes. last night. Yeah, so Alexander McQueen was her first gown with the gloves and just like, she is just the perfect person for that design it's house. Very elegant, right? Yeah, she is gorgeous. And the second one for the performance was just stunning and mm -hmm. such a moving performance. Yeah. It was. And, and f for you, for people here in Connecticut, I mean, you are really like the, the go-to custom dress designer. So it's really cool how, how you're able to craft some of these creations. Yeah. Talk to us about that. Yeah. I, um, well, I love my time working in London and New York for like the designer houses and seeing dresses on the red carpet it was amazing. So I'm just trying to... Um, do that for people in Connecticut, I think. Yeah. And if anybody wants a red carpet dress, maybe you. Oh, there you go. There you go. <laughs> Next client, Teresa Dufour. I'll call you with plenty of time, right? Mm -hmm. I'm sure this is a lengthy process. Well, it really depends. If you want something fully beaded, that's like a six month project. And wow. that has to be designed, everything laid out by hand, hand drawn, sent out to India, and these amazing craftsmen over there. Just oh my come back yeah, with this a process. beautiful thing, yeah. Very nice. So, wow. Olivia, where can people learn a little bit more about you online? Um, I have a website. Uh, it's novamclaren.com or um, Instagram at novamclaren. Excellent. Very good. Thank Thanks you for, for being here. Today. Thanks for your insight. Thank you.